The second incident was uh, with one of my best friends. He was getting a little drunk. We were in the pub. And he started saying how he wasn't bothered about me. And we were having a political debate. And he wasn't bothered about me. And even in my martial arts, he could still beat me. And I just got off the bar stool, stood back a little bit and said, do you really want to end up with a broken arm so you can't run your own business because I knew you were self-employed? Don't be so stupid. Calm down. So that was an odd experience when you get attacked by one of your best friends and somebody who I'd done a lot of business with. He was in car sales and he used to sell me cars and I bought them to sell at my garage. So that was the second instant, but I knew that it was real and it wasn't just one of those things. It, when these things are real, it comes instantly. You don't have a lot of time to get into big arguments and build up. Well, that's what I've found. These things usually flare up really fast. I dealt with it and afterwards I thought about it and I thought I was more concerned for him because I don't know if I would have been able to break his arm or not, but I was convinced I could because of the angle he was sitting on the bar stool. He would have had to lunge out at me with his um, left arm. And perhaps I would have not broken it, who knows, but I'm just saying that I talked him down. And you're as good as you are at the time of it happening. You can't prepare for it. I don't believe anybody can prepare for it. I don't care what anybody says in Aikido. Unless you become a Buddhist monk and control yourself to some very high degree. We are normal people and adrenaline either runs and disturbs us so we can't concentrate. 